Hi everybody. Have you ever tried curried chicken, Jamaican style? Well, look no further. Welcome into my kitchen and let cook. Hi guys. Welcome back to Carla's Kitchen on Life with Miss Carla. And in today's cooking, as you have seen from the intro, we are doing a Jamaican style uh, chicken curry. Um, if it's something that you have never tried, well, today is the day for you to see me cook this stomach. So let's get into the kitchen and prepare this delicious Jamaican style chicken curry. Also, remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and share the video with your friends and your family. Leave a comment down below how you cook your chicken curry. Uh, maybe you might do it different from my style, so just drop your comments down below. Let's get the conversation started, okay? And tell me where you are watching from. See, that will give me a good indication as to how you probably prepare your chicken curry. So yeah, so let's get into the kitchen. I've got some oil in a pan. I put a tablespoon of curry. Mm, a little more, I want it. A tablespoon and a half. We're going to burn that curry. Add half teaspoon of turmeric and just to, to burn out. Chopped half of scotch bonnet pepper. Have some onions, that. Not all of it. So I have some green and yellow pepper in here. Bell pepper. Red bell peppers as well. Some ginger. So that's about a tablespoon of ginger. So that will add some spice. I'm going to kick to to the um to the pepper that I put in the scotch bonnet pepper. I'll put some chicken that I've already been marinating, 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 marinating in here. It's, a, it's chicken wings, thigh legs, that sort of mix in here. And I'll leave that to, to steam. And I won't add any water or anything, I just need this to do its thing. I've mixed it around and it will make its own liquid and um, then I'll come back to it. I'll add the mixture from the sauteed chicken, no from the marinade chicken sorry, I'll add that to it. We waste nothing in the Caribbean when we're cooking. Now I'll let that cook for half an hour and I'm going to add some carrot in between, halfway between. I'll add some carrots in that. So halfway in the cooking I add some, some carrots. Ginger there. You see how that looks quite colorful with the bright orange from the carrots and the yellow from the curry. Mmm, lovely. Nice. I'm going to boil some rice and I washed two and a half cups of rice to add it to this pan. My pan is hot, so I'm just going to add the rice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little oil. So, 
leave it to fry just a little and then I'll come back to it and I'll add some boiling water to it. I've been, I've been cooking my rice like this for some time now so I've tried it and tested it and it's fantastic. It comes out nice and flaky which is what I want. you to look at the rice now the grains are much um, harder and if you notice the rice is swollen it's, it wasn't that amount I had in there so this helps to it becomes a shelly that means it they're not sticking together water which was being boiled here like a measure I just gauge it and yeah and it generally cooks just in here no measurement here for the water then I will turn down my cooker I'm adding some salt here now we're gonna recover that and leave that to simmer away recover and I'll check it again maybe in another 10 minutes I'll check it right now it's on number three oh uh, Probably come back and put it on number two. I also want to do some veg, but I'm not quite sure. I have cabbage. I could do, or I could do some beans, which is quite easy. I may just stuck it out with some green beans, just to add a bit more color to the meal. Okay, let's check this rice. Okay, so that's how I like it. It's broken apart. Yep, and that's my white rice, well done. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch around so I can see, you can see. That's, actually, I'll put it over there and I'll put this over here. That's for my vegetables, okay. So right, so now you can see my, my chicken curry. I don't want the oh, oh somebody me falling apart, which is not what I want. I'll add a little bit more water on that. Which is I'm a girl who likes my gravy. So I want my gravy. Or sauce if that's what you call it. Yep. I do like. I do like sauce. Right, so that's cooked. It's just gonna simmer down a little bit. Oh I forget that I switch this off. So let's switch it back on. It's on number three. I have some spinach, frozen spinach. Wrap that in there like that. And I also have some beans. So, there you go. Frozen bean will be my vegetables. Oh, you can't see my frozen beans in it. Hmm. So, what well, we're gonna change around again. Sorry, I shifted. Okay, I'm gonna shift. That come in the front, that goes at the back. So, that's my frozen veg. Being cooked and I'm just gonna leave it like that on uh, number three and, and the cooker and let that just slowly does it it's it's thing slowly slowly I leave it like that okay we leave that and that will slowly um defrost and steam then I come back in about 10 minutes and add some salt and that's it well salt and a little bit of olive oil and we're good to go I'm gonna add some olive oil. And I don't like it. Uh, I don't like my beans too soft. I like them you know, al, dan al dente. Is that the word? Al dente style. Meaning they're a bit crunchy. And some salt. Mm -hmm. A little bit too salt. A little bit too salt, but that's all right for the rice. The rice is a little bit fresh. And um, 
yeah, that this is finished. Mm -hmm. That's how it looks. Now that's that's finished, and that's the look. Cover that back. Let's concentrate on this over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, like that. Good. Night. Put that back down there. It's cool now. Right, and that's it. Let's cook already. So let's put this together and close out this video. I wet the cup so I can, you know, get the rice. And that way it comes out easier. Voila! Dinner is served. Dinner is served. I am finished cooking and this is a finished product. I don't know if you can see, that's the chicken curry or curry chicken. And my vegetables on the side, and some white rice over here. So let's give it that ultimate taste. Taste test. So I've got a bit of the gravy here. A bit of gravy on here. I do like my gravy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Gorgeous. Mmm. Sorry, guys. Okay, talk you not eat, you not sing that. I'm making this funny sound. <laughs> Ginger in it. I just had some of the ginger. I, had some ginger. I just took some ginger up a while ago. Mm. Mm. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in to Life with Miss Carla in Carla's Kitchen. And um, um, chicken curry is my favorite dish anytime. Chicken curry, give it to me all the time. It's my favorite. So, right, so let me know down in the comment section what's your favorite dish? Is it um, or how do you do your curry, your curry chicken or curry goat or curry lamb? <laughs> you know, let me know down below how do you cook your dish and let me know where you are watching from as well because that will give me kind of an indicator how you would maybe prepare your um, your curry dish. Thank you once again for tuning into the channel, guys. Make sure you are giving the video the big thumbs up. Share it with friends and family. I put. The, I put the reminder down here where you can subscribe, thumbs up, and comment. So, I'll just say my goodbyes for now, and we will meet again in the next video, not too far away from now.